chosen one, listen, listen, listen clear to my words because you probably going through this right now, but I just want to let you know you're not alone and what you're doing is not wrong. Okay. You're doing the right thing, but I'm about to tell you what's really going on behind the scene, man. Listen, it's your big bro trend, man. Y'all got to say it with me one more time, man. Listen, stay tuned to the end of this video. Um, I got something very special for you. Man, I got over the flu. God dang, man. The flu lasted for like four days, bro. I'm talking about I couldn't eat. <clears throat> I'm still a little coffee or whatever, but I couldn't eat, couldn't swallow food, couldn't drink juices. My throat was so sore. My body was shivering. Ah, man, it was crazy. I couldn't even sleep because our headache was too bad. Yeah, big bro really had the flu. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I'm pretty sure you can hear that my voice still lingering or whatever, but I'm good. I just want to thank y'all for the prayers and everything that you've been giving to me. I'm good. But anyway, let's talk about this real shit, man. Let's talk about this real shit. Listen, chosen one, when you doing your own thing and you on your own, you doing, you on your own path and you finally realize, you know what? I need to do something for myself for a chance. I need to take my own path. I need to walk in my own lane. All right. Once you start actually doing that, once you start actually doing that, you're going to notice people are going to blame you for every single thing. And you be like, yo, why are you blaming me for some stuff that's not even I'm not even involved in? That's because they just want to blame you because they know you're doing your own thing. And see, you're you're not in the rat race no more. You know, you're not caught up in the same shit that they caught up in anymore. You're not trying to do things the same way that they trying to do it anymore. You know what I mean? You're not the typical uh, average Joe anymore. You know what I'm saying? W meanwhile, they still doing the same old shit. You feel me? But see, they gon they want to blame you for everything now. They want to make you feel bad. They want to make you feel like you're not contributing. You know, they want to make you feel like you don't never attend things no more. They want to make you feel like you don't never give no money. They want to make you feel like, you know, you're not a part of the family anymore. You know, they want to try to do anything that they possibly can to try to make you feel like you're a bad person because you decide to walk on your own path and do your own thing. This is what they do. And it's and see, the reason why they do this is because they just trying to destroy your reputation. They trying to break down the path that God has put you on. They just trying to break it down. You see what I'm saying? See, don't know, don't nobody like nobody who finds themselves. Once you realize you're the chosen one and you know you don't have to take no crap from nobody and that you can do everything on your own and you don't need people to help you with nothing. Once you realize that, that you have power like that and other people don't realize that they can do that for themselves too, they get mad at you. <clears throat> Just because you take care of yourself, you keep your hygiene up, you put deodorant on and you brush your teeth twice a day and your teeth is whiter than theirs. So you mad at me because my teeth, you jealous of me because my teeth are whiter than yours because I actually go buy toothpaste and I put it to work on a toothbrush when I wake up and when I go to sleep at night and you don't do that. So you're mad at me because my teeth are white. Yes. They, that's why they mad at you. you. So you mean to tell me you're jealous of me because my skin is really purified and, and comes electrified with all the electrolytes and all the water, right? And I hydrate myself with H2O all the time and my skin is clear and yours is all bumpy and shit. So you're mad at me because I drink water and I, I, I you can go buy water too, don't you know that? But see, folks, one thing I gotta realize, these Decepticons don't wanna put in the work. They don't wanna go buy the water. They'll rather look at you drinking water and be mad at you. Why are you drinking that water? You drinking water again? Why you won't drink no alcohol with us? I don't want to drink no alcohol with y'all today. I'm drinking water. This is my cleansing day. I'm purifying myself. But see, that's the thing about these Decepticons, folks. They always, see, they think it's cool to be a part of a whole flock. Like they think it's cool to follow a, to follow along and, and everybody walking the line. You know how um, back in school, you know how back in elementary school and stuff, they, they everybody had to walk in the line. He said, "All right, it's time to go to lunch. Everybody get in line." That's what they like. They walk in the line, and if everybody walking in the line, they all happy.
You know how you're walking that line going, you see the classrooms on the left and the right, you waving them people in the classroom, be like. Then your class pull, then your, then your teacher and your class pull up in the lunchroom, y'all the shit, y'all the best class in the school. Nigga, I'm the best kickball person up in here, yeah. Miss Dietrich class, yeah. Yeah. Then you look in your pocket, your mama only gave you 50 cents for a dessert. <laughs> Your mama only gave you 50 cents for a dessert. You get up to the front register, you be looking at that cheesecake at the front register. They be teasing you with it. Damn, I can't get that dessert. Then you ask your friend, hey man, you got an extra dollar. Yeah, man, I got you this time, man. Let me get that cheesecake right there with this piece of man. But that's what they that's what people cool with. They people are cool when they see other people following the same thing that they are following. And if you're not following the same thing that they're following, they're going to blame you because you're following your own path. You know, you're just a bird that chooses to fly alone and go your own path and go your own separate way and do your own thing and worry about your own shit. They get mad at that. They like blasphemy, blasphemy, blasphemy. How dare you? And it's not and it's not that you're trying to do anybody any harm or trying to look down on anybody. It's just that you're trying to level up as an individual. You're just trying to build, you're just trying to build your, get your weight up. You're just trying to bring yourself up, build up your status, build up your brand. You feel me? You're trying to get your own place to stay. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? But they'll say, no, no. You think you all that, don't you? Cause you look good. You look. I don't think that I look good. I supposed to look good, dummy. Chick. I supposed to look good. How, I don't understand why people are jealous of people that look good. You mad at me because I look good? Damn. What did that say about you? Oh, I know what it say. You a Decepticon. You a Decepticon, bro. Star seeds. Chosen ones, get away from people that hate you because of what you look like. They got problems, man. Mental, psychological issues. Get away from, ladies, get away from other ladies that despise you because you look good. Because they going to turn into some friends like Shaquilla Robinson and shit. You mad at me because I bo I'm bossing up my status and shit? Damn, bitch. You weak. Huh? You, you low-key insecure. You know, they'll turn on you. They'll turn on you like like they did that girl at Clark Atlanta. Like her boyfriend did her. Y'all know that about that story, that, that, that boyfriend and, um, you know, he was sleeping with his uh, her. He was sleeping with his girlfriend's friend, low key, and they killed her. Y'all about to watch y'all friends is, bro. Y'all, I don't, me personally, that's why y'all see me on these videos every single day. I don't be by with nobody. I don't be with nobody. I don't be with nobody. I'm my own man. I ain't no kid. I'm my own man, bro. I be out here in these streets. All around the country. See? But y'all, see some of y'all out there, some of y'all so insecure of who y'all are as individuals, y'all gotta have friends around. <laughs> I need my girl. <laughs> The same damn girl that you always got to have around you be the one plotting to fucking set you up. Because you feel insecure being, being by yourself. Y'all about to watch these friends in 2023. I'm telling you, bro. That the, the hate is coming out. Your friend might be your friend. Like, you might think that's your friend. Like, they, just like the girl from Clark Atlanta. They used to go. Yeah, I used to take her and my friend. We used to, roommates. We used to go to Thanksgiving. Uh, Thanksgiving days with our families and stuff. That don't mean shit. Yeah, yeah. She she used the girl that they killed. She used to take her friend, her roommate, to the Thanksgiving dinners that her family used to have. <laughs> Same friend that killed her, put a plastic bag over her head. I ain't saying this to scare you. I'm just telling the truth. Y'all got to get out of a habit. <clears throat> Of like feeling like you gotta have other people to validate you. You don't. Walk your own path. Do your own thing. 
The universe will bring the right people in your life that's supposed to be in your life. You don't have to be needy and greedy and go out here and try to, you know, uh, try to amount up to what people want you to be like. You don't have to do that. You can walk your own path, do your own thing. Everybody will start seeing you. They'll start seeing how you living. They'll start attracting themselves to you because they like, damn, that's how I live too. The same way you doing your thing, that's the same way I do my thing. And then you'll start attracting the right people. You won't attract jealous people in your life that used to be mad at you. Oh, Trent, you make videos. Oh, I'm mad at you. Are you mad at me because I make videos? Dummy, you got a cell phone too, stupid. That's just how slow these people is. They slow. They, they dumb down. They Decepticons. Ain't no other way to describe it, y'all. Walk your own path and still it don't matter, bro. People are going to blame you for their own faults. They're going to blame you for their own faults. Just because you're doing your own thing. They're going to say, it's your fault. Why is it my fault? It's your fault. You did this. How did I do it? And I'm not even there. It don't matter. You're not godly. Come back to the plantation. No, nigga. Shit, I went with Harriet Tubman when she told y'all we was going to the Underground Railroad. I went with her. I was a free slave, master. master I was a free slave. You know what I'm saying? You still gonna you still gonna have slave mentality people that be like yeah, we, the, the plantation is still the better. Boss is treating us so good over here. Man, fuck that. Nigga, I was a free slaves around here. I got me on the Lacoste shirt. Mm-hmm. I signed documents now. I signed the documents. And all these white folks in here, they's my friends too. And I signs they documents and I watch they dogs. You can't come around here with that. You feel me? <laughs> nah, it's your big bro trend, man. But nah, real talk though, y'all. Don't feel mad or don't get upset. Like, don't feel bad because you walk in your own path. Like, and you doing you being led by the spirit of God, and He telling you what to do, and he, you listening to His voice, and you doing your own thing. You know what I'm saying? Don't be, don't be misled by other people mad at you because of you doing that. Because that's what they want to try to do. They want to try to break your spirit because they don't have the, they don't have the audacity to do that. You know, they want to try to make you feel bad, like you're doing something wrong. You know, don't, don't listen to them, folks. They just some victims of their own circumstances, and they want to make you feel bad because you actually just stepped out and you did your own goddamn thing. So with that being said, man, thank y'all so much for staying to the end of the video. I told y'all I got something very special for y'all, man. Y'all about to get up in this shit with me, man. Tomorrow, we holding our next crypto call, All right? Come on, man. It ain't but $20. You mean to tell me you ain't got $20 in your damn pocket? Get on, on get, listen, get in on this Sunday. We gonna, I, I chose to do this on Sunday. I know it's the day of rest for the Lord, but listen, I feel good about this call tomorrow. All right. I've been sick, so I haven't been able to get on the crypto calls like that, y'all, because I had to heal my body. Um, but we're going to do a crypto call tomorrow, you know, live. If you want to get in with us on crypto, we're going to teach you about it. We're going to tell you the best coins to invest in in 2023. I keep telling y'all the market about to get even more better, bro. The, the inflation is going down. Y'all might not watch TV in the news. I still do. Because I got to keep track of everything that's going on in the world. Okay? So I'm just saying that to say, bro, y'all need to get in on this uh, call with me tomorrow. Okay? Go to the bottom in the comment section at the very top. Just click Be My Patreon. Okay? Be My Patreon. Sign up right now. You need to sign up right now. Just go ahead and just be my Patreon. Just try it. If you don't like it after tomorrow, uh, unsubmit. Okay? But you got to get in this. Again, folks, lost information for the star seeds and the chosen ones is below volume one, volume two. It's still below right now. Get that super, supernatural information that you're never going to hear nowhere else other than here. It's your big bro, Trim. Thank y'all so much for tuning in, chosen ones. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Speak or let your voice be heard. Leave a comment below. I got to go. Peace.